I met from work and this is first time Tommy and I aren't having din dinner together. In oh, I'm in, the, I'm in the camera. Okay. Yeah. You don't want to be? Sorry. I didn't know. I didn't realise that I <laughs> was. Sorry. Mm, yeah, You're right. That's why I took your shirt off. off. Mm. First time Tommy and I aren't having dinner together in like six months. Oh, it's going to be so nice. <laughs> but we're going to light is the best spot. We've been there many, many times. So I'm sorry, but I'm going to have bow buns without you. Hey guys, so today Tommy and I are both off. It's a Sunday, so we're gonna do a little road trip. Well, quite a big road trip. This is officially the longest we've taken Susie. Um, so we're halfway in our drive and we're on our way to this like mountain place with waterfalls called, is it called Bunya? What's yeah. it? So we're going to Bunya Mountains and we're gonna switch drivers, but first we're gonna have some breakfast. It's about 9.30ish maybe. We just stopped on the side of the road. We got our picnic blanket with our coconut bowls. Remember to use our LE15 for 50% off coconut bowls. <laughs> Link below. And we got some brekkie with us. Don't get bitten by the ants, they are pretty brutal. We got coconut yogurt, some bread, some avo, some snacks for the ride. This is our view. Breakfast. Mm -mm. Mm. Not bad for a side of the road stop. No, it's not. probably like 20 minutes into like the thick forest and there's little kangaroos everywhere down there. It's um, a lot of um, pine and oak and stuff like that so it's, it, like, it sounds really weird but it like smells and looks like we're at home, like we're back in Europe. We're here, there's like a coffee shop, we're fully kitted out with our picnic blankets, got the cameras on me, we're up for a hike. Clouds have just come out and it's kind of cold up here in the mountains. So that's why I'm wearing my jacket. This is Australia's highest whiskey bar. Yeah. It says in the middle of the mountains. Ooh, it says to wear long clothes and both of us are in shorts. We could change the trousers though. Uh, I don't know. I, I think we'll be all right. So these are the tracks we're gonna do. <laughs> we're gonna do the long one, Barker Creek Circuit. Clean your feet before we go to the rainforest. That thing squirts up and it was not nice. It like disinfects them because you need to protect the bunya pines. Apparently this tree can cause pain for days or months if you touch it. It doesn't even look dangerous. No. That is crazy. So we're at Big Falls Lookout. Having a snack. Mm. Got some Vegemite, some avo. 
this cough is vegan. <laughs> very little falls yeah we're at little falls which is basically nothing it's and not big awesome, and big falls wasn't a waterfall either it was <laughs> might have been once you see it on the drone not sure. now though so we completed the walk it didn't even feel that long no don't go little baby there's little rurus everywhere guys hey there hey there so cute. At JS Fisher Lookout. We just found this. I'm going no, to I'm going. stop. I'm going to my friend Natalia's job and she's she's working at the Frida's Sip and Paint here in Noosa, which Tommy and I have wanted to go to, to for ages. So she invited me and one other girl from my job. So it's really exciting. So I'm gonna go there now and it's basically like a painting class and you can drink whatever drink you want while you're there. Tommy was gonna come, but he's too tired from work, so. Trader. <laughs> Trader. Don't wake me up. <laughs> I'm really excited for that. I'm just wearing these. This top, I'm really bad at painting and I haven't painted for so many years, so I'm nervous Thank to you. see how mine turns out. I need to be there in 10 minutes. I think my wine leaked in my bag, which is just fantastic. Hello guys and welcome back to a vlog or I don't know if this is a part of a vlog but today we are going to go head to Rainbow Beach and Hervey Bay because tomorrow at 8am, no 8.30am we have Whale Watch tour booked which is so exciting. This will be my first time seeing a whale up super close. We did see one whale about a month or so ago here at Noosa. It was like my first experience seeing a whale and it was just so amazing. But yeah, I've really wanted to do like a proper whale tour where you go out in a boat and you get to see them like up close. So we booked one because Hervey Bay is supposed to be the best place to see them. And the season is now like, I think it's from July to like November or something because they sail up the coast when it gets cold down south and then they go back down. Yeah, I'm really weird because I'm kind of hungry. This morning we went with um, Dom, Tommy's friend, and we went to go to Perigian Beach for a little surf. Um, I did a little sunbathe, little morning surf, and then we went to our favorite cafe, the Baked Poets Cafe, and I had a croissant and it was so, so good. I didn't really bring my camera, but I did film a little TikTok, so I'll put that in here. But yeah, now we're just gonna get the, the van all 
set up. This will be our first time going to a campsite and like plugging in with power. So this will be like a test run to see if like everything works smoothly. We just bought um, like a power cable extension from Bunnings for like $19. So I hope it will be all good. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pack all the things. I also just went to a secondhand shop and I bought a little, little sarong thing because I thought that would be cute as like a bikini cover up. But anyway, now I'm gonna get all of my camera gear and stuff charged up and pack some clothes for tomorrow. The weather is looking great. Like I was out in the morning, like it's, I think it's 11 o'clock now. No, it's 10 to 12 and the sun is already like, it's been super strong since like 8 a.m. this morning. I'm currently in the comfiest trousers ever. These are from Ganda. All set up, ready to go. This was what I was talking about before, the thing I got. We've got all the, the camp chairs there and then we've got lots of breakfast stuff. And maybe we'll get to try out the awning today, which we haven't tried out yet. We have a one hour, 43 minute drive to Rainbow Beach. And then we're gonna camp in Hervey Bay, which is where the whale watching tour is going from. So I'm guessing it will be about an hour from Rainbow Beach to Heavy Bay. And it's currently 12.43. We're filling up. We are almost turning into Rainbow Beach and Tin Can Bay. And then we just booked our campsite for the night. I can't remember what the campsite is called, but I will find out. I think they're charging like $45 for a night for the two of us and then we get like water and power and, and it's really close to where we're going for the whale watching so that's exciting and now we're gonna hop into this little shop here in the servo servo that's so australian of me and i want to get an ice cream because it's really hot today it actually feels like summer and yeah guys now i'm filming with my small kit lens that came with my camera because it's more widescreen the other one was a 30 millimeter lens so it was always really like zoomed in on my face yeah we just arrived at rainbow beach it took us like i don't know an hour and 40 minutes and now we're just on the beach because it's such a beautiful day and it's already 2.30 so after this we'll probably have a quick look around the shops and then head to Hervey Bay. Last time we were on Rainbow Beach it was when Fraser Island was burning and there was just black sand here. The ocean was like dark brown. It was quite sad actually but yeah that was in one of my East Coast Road Trip vlogs so you will have seen that if you've been following me since then. Here's the famous Rainbow Beach stairs. And we're actually gonna start making our way further north up to Hervey Bay, just so we get there before five, so we can like chill. We wanna set up our awning. We wanna do a little coal shop and check into the campsite. The good thing about Australia is there is little water stops everywhere and public toilets and public outdoor showers. <laughs> We made it to Hervey Bay and we're at Woolies right now. We're like, I don't know, I think a five minute drive from our campsite. So we're gonna get some stuff because we want to do a barbecue tonight, I think. And the weather already feels like, the air feels different up here. I don't know, I like it, it feels more tropical. Maybe it's just placebo Ooh. and I'm imagining things, but do you think it feels like holiday air, like tropical? Yeah. I think so too. Humid. Six dollars for chicken chives sausages. They look nice. Or they've got these classic hot dogs. At the campsite. It's called Windmill Caravan Park. Now we're just gonna set up with the power lead for the first time, we think, that we set up in that little box, but we're not sure. Oh 
and we miss the sunset. It's a full moon. This is us setting the awning up. We failed to put the awning up. We're trying to find out how to put the awning up because we don't know. I don't know if it's broken or if we just don't know how to do it. First campsite burger. We're cooking in the kitchen and charging our stuff really because we got the wrong power lead. Cheers to yeah, that. Yeah, we got a 10 amp, not a 15 amp. Mm. So. Good morning. So sweet, the <laughs> Shooting you. You came around the corner. You got it? Yeah. You came around the corner, mate. <laughs> oh, we just woke up. We made some coffee here in the camp kitchen. We are very tired. We slept quite well, though, didn't we? Yeah. We? Yeah. That's some strong coffee. Yep. It is almost six o'clock. So, yeah, Tommy just made some coffee and. Yeah. <laughs> And now we're gonna go try and watch the sunrise. It's already rising. I think it rises earlier here, but it's pretty cold outside. Um, so I wrapped up and then we're gonna go and try and find a cable, an electrical cable that actually fits in our van. Look at our tiny little chairs. It looks so funny when you sit in it. And we've got our little solar thing out there set up and our awning we managed to set it up last night i don't know if i was filming but saw me watched a youtube video he managed I guess this is the breakfast hunt. We gotta go back and have breakfast now. Thankfully we don't have to catch up on the ocean. We got coconut yogurt for Becky. Grinola. And then finishing touch, drizzle some peanut butter. He's having biscoff on his breakfast toys. Which is still vegan. Mind blowing. It? Yeah, it's vegan, but it's it's really tasty, but it's like a dessert. So these bowls are from coconut bowls, and this is just the normal breakfast that we normally have. And I love eating it out of coconut bowls. So I've just got my coconut yogurt with some granola and seeds and stuff. And I just want to say thank you to Coconut Bowls from, for sending me these. They came with the spoons and they have like tote bags. They have cutlery, straws, candles that smell amazing by the way. Um, and yeah, I just love eating it out of a coconut bowl because it just feels nicer and it tastes better and it looks better and it's better for the environment. They're made out of real coconuts so that no coconuts go to waste. Yeah, it's pretty crazy as well how you wouldn't think that a normal bowl, like a ceramic bowl, actually has a taste. Yeah. Compared, like you don't really realise it until you keep eating out of the coconut bowls. Uh, then when you go back to ceramic bowls, you can t actually taste the ceramic, which is crazy. And I have a discount code for you guys. So if you use the code RLE15, you get 15% off. And I'll have it linked down below. Mm -hmm. So yeah, these bowls are eco-friendly, sustainable, and ethically made. Go grab yourself some coconut bowls. You will not regret it. And they're really nice to bring on like trips like this because they weigh nothing. They're so light and easy to pack, which is good. Oh, we're about to board and there's some lots of people here. Oh, 
It's stopping, babe. So we just got done uh, with the whale tour and we both got ourselves some sunnies because after almost two years in Australia we both don't own any sunglasses. Which also means that we'll end up with squinty wrinkles if we don't get one. We will anyway probably. Get some, get one. But um, we just got these from the like the gift shop that they always have at that, those kind of places. Um, but yeah, that whale tour was just so good. In the beginning we were like not seeing any, but then towards the end it was like you saw the water that the whales blow out, you saw it just popping up everywhere. And in the end we were following like three pods I think, and we saw like two of them were fighting, and we saw... They were fighting over a lady, which you should never do. Unless you're a whale. You shouldn't fight over a man or a woman. Yeah, it was awesome. Hopefully I got some good shots of them. We saw a few of them actually breaching out of the water as well, which was just amazing. I am pretty sunburnt in my face now though, which is why I'm wearing this hat, which I kind of regret not bringing on the boat. So, and now we're gonna head to the beach, go for a swim we think, and have some lunch. And we gotta go back soon, so we're gonna make the most of it. We're just on the beach. We're about to send the drone up. We just had our leftover burgers that we cooked yesterday and it was so yummy. And then we went for a little walk in the ocean here. We wanted to go for a dip, but it's just really, really shallow. Um, so we just went for a little look. There's lots of pretty shells here. Will we find something worth following. Yeah, and I found this beautiful shell. And then after this, we're gonna maybe go grab a nice cool drink or a cold ice cream. There's this um, restaurant up to the top here that's playing live music and it just feels like we're on holiday in Europe or something. It's really nice actually. Yeah. 